Welcome everyone to TCU. This beautiful campus radiates an undeniable energy from student school spirit to warm welcomes. Located here in Fort Worth, Texas, one of America's largest cities, the surrounding community provides internships, jobs, and endless entertainment and culture. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and over the next half hour, we're gonna travel around this amazing campus to meet real students going to TCU right now. The passion and energy these students have is limitless. So buckle up for a great episode, everyone. Welcome to TCU. This is the college tour. All right, everyone, let's head over to the Schollmeyer Arena to meet Allison. She's a junior majoring in child development and she dances with the showgirls on game day. So she can definitely tell us about athletics and school spirit. Allison, hit it. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone, and welcome to TCU. One of my favorite TCU sayings is that we have a small school feel with big school spirit. So when you get the benefits of attending a small university, you don't have to miss out on any of the exciting traditions or atmosphere that come along with game days. Here at TCU, Horn Frog Pride radiates throughout the campus. Speaking of Horn Frog Pride, I always like to say that game days are the best days and there are tons of ways to be involved. As a member of the TCU dance team, better known around here as the TCU Showgirls, is the greatest honor and privilege. I just finished my rookie season on the team and it has been an incredible experience filled with hard work, sisterhood, and of course, tons of dancing. As a showgirl, my game days are an up close and personal experience. During football season, we start our days at the beautiful Frog Fountain. Here we get to see our friends and family and take lots of pictures. From Frog Fountain, we begin our parade into the stadium. Then it's game time. There is no better feeling than stepping onto the field wearing our iconic Justin boots and gorgeous uniforms. Watch closely. You may notice that we make up to three uniform changes a game. The excitement and adrenaline in the Amogee Carter Stadium is a feeling like no other. Looking up into the stands on game day fills me with such excitement and pride. And the best part of it all is that I get to dance and cheer alongside my best friends. Some of my favorite game day traditions include our Riff Ram cheer, singing the alma mater, and high kicks. High kicks are big in Texas, so when the Horn Frogs win, we kick for each point scored. While football season is an incredibly exciting time, the fun doesn't just stop there. You'll also find the showgirls dancing and cheering at basketball and baseball games, as well as community events. So no matter what time of year it is, there is always a game to see, and we love to see the stands filled with frog fans. TCU is proud to compete at the highest level of NCAA Division I sports as a member of the Big 12 Conference. Our student athletes excel not only in their sports, but in the classroom and in our community. So on game days, whether you find yourself on the field or in the stands, there's a place for you here at TCU. As always, go Frogs and back to you, Alex. Allison, great job. It's so fun to hear about game days on campus. I can feel the excitement of the student section cheering on the Horn Frogs. Thanks again for that, that was awesome. Cheers, Allison. Okay, everyone, let's head over to student housing and meet Anaya. She is a sophomore majoring in journalism and minoring in business. She's gonna share her story about growing up right here in Fort Worth and find a campus community she never thought she'd make in her own backyard. Okay, Anaya, it's all yours. Please take it away. Thanks, Alex, and welcome to Texas, y'all. Now, to give you the best picture of what your time at TCU might look like, I wanted to walk you through my first year here. Now, I'm from Fort Worth, born and raised about 15 minutes from TCU's campus. My elementary school is walking distance from my current residence hall, and my high school graduation ceremony took place at our basketball arena, so I've kind of been a horned frog for life. But it's for that reason I actually didn't want to come at TCU. My mom booked us a tour anyways, and what do you know? I fell in love with the campus. TCU was relatively small, but they really leaned into that community by placing a large priority on students making friends and establishing support networks. My first friend was made at Summer Orientation, a football player who danced with me at the late night dance party. 
The second friend I made here was a girl from Nevada who was joined in my hip during frog camp. And my third friend was my roommate Grace, who I didn't even meet until move-in day. All students live on campus their first two years, and the residential communities are super tight-knit because they're not just a place where we lay our heads at the end of the night. They really are a home with laundry services, tons of storage, theaters, and arcades. I could watch Ron Cobbs in the lobby or play Ultimate Frisbee in the lawn. My entire first year experience was marked by TCU creating environments that helped me engage with others, which is integral to emotional support, social development, and establishing those professional networks. Faculty get involved too. The Sunday before my first day of classes, I had dinner at the director of family programs house with a group of other first years. We ate tacos, played with her dogs, watched some football, which is not only the most Texan welcome you could get, but also a really powerful testament to just how much TCU cares about and supports us personally. It's just so much easier to ask for help if you're on a first name basis, or get a job recommendation in your field if you have your professor's cell phone number. My professors know my name, they know what I made on my last test, they know when I missed a class, and I know that here, they'll take interest in my education as if it's their own. TCU's connection culture is one of a kind, making sure every student is well informed and well equipped with whatever they need to enter the workforce and the world. It's why I don't mind being just 15 minutes away from mom anymore. Well, that's my story. Thank y'all for letting me share. Back to you, Alex. Anaya, thank you for taking us through your experience at TCU. I'm jealous of all the activities you have going on here. Sign me up for that ultimate Frisbee. Thanks again, Anaya. Take care. All right, everyone, pull on your boots and get your appetite ready. We're heading off campus to the historic stockyards with Ryan. He's a junior majoring in sports broadcasting and minoring in business, and he's gonna tell us about Fort Worth culture food, and opportunities for students. Take it away, Ryan. Thanks, Alex. Hi, y'all, and welcome to TCU in Fort Worth, Texas. TCU is a beautiful campus with so many opportunities for its students. I'm from California, so one of the biggest things that drew me to TCU was its location. When I first visited, I felt surrounded by Southern hospitality, which is a very real thing. People on campus and in Fort Worth are so genuine and kind, and they make TCU students feel like we're at home. Fort Worth, Dallas, and the surrounding cities make up one of the largest metropolitan areas in the nation, which is one of the reasons why so many undergrads hold internships while they're here. Most majors recommend or require an internship, and Fort Worth is an ideal location with an abundance of opportunities. Local companies love to support TCU with student internships. Now, Fort Worth is constantly modernizing and growing, so there is something new and exciting for everyone to experience. When my parents come visit me, I'm pretty sure they're really here to try the food. Texas is known for their food, and TCU allows students to use money from their meal plan off campus. Fort Worth is home to the famous stockyards. If you want to experience Texan culture and history, this National Historic District is what you're looking for. Here, you can try barbecue and Tex-Mex, watch one of the twice daily cattle drives, and even buy a pair of stylish cowboy boots. The Stockyards is also home to the iconic Billy Bob's. Sundance Square is another perfect spot right in the heart of downtown Fort Worth. With endless food and entertainment options, you cannot go wrong. If you come to Fort Worth, you have to visit the Fort Worth Zoo. Because it's located right down the road from campus, it is a super convenient place for student internships and a fun day with your friends. The zoo just opened a new Elephant Springs, which is a joy to see. They're also successfully breeding the endangered Texas horn lizard, which happens to be our mascot. Now, how cool is that? In all, Fort Worth is such an amazing place I hope you come visit and stay a while. Thanks for letting me share. Now back to you, Alex. Ryan, thank you for giving us a tour around Fort Worth. I can't wait to try some barbecue and Tex-Mex and visit some of the amazing places you just took us to. Thank you for sharing your story with all of us. We appreciate it. Take care, Ryan. 
Okay, everyone, now it's time to pick up the pace because I don't know how this next student has time to catch her breath. Her name is Erica. She's a sophomore, computer science major and mathematics minor. She DJs at the campus radio station, studied abroad in Panama, and chartered her own sorority. Erica, please fill us in on the experiential education you can expect at TCU. Gracias, Alex. I came to TCU because of the genuine connection I felt to the students, faculty, and staff that I met on the tour. But what keeps me here is the passion and pride that everyone has for what they do. Reaching out or sending a simple email has given me so many opportunities, from studying abroad in Panama as a freshman, to being a chancellor's host and wearing a cool purple blazer, to volunteering around Fort Worth or facilitating frog camp, or being a DJ at our KTCU radio station, just to name a few things. There is always an open door for new opportunities. We even have an idea factory that supports innovations dreamed up by our students. The only real limit is the 24 hours in the day. TCU has allowed me to take classes that challenge me to think critically about societal issues, historical perspectives, and the surrounding community. I have developed meaningful connections with all of my professors, and they guide me as my mentors. As a STEM major, I have access to so many resources to explore my research interests, do community service, or grow as a professional and as a person. Another highlight of my academic life at TCU is the John V. Roach Honors College. When I first toured, I heard that Bill Nye had just been a guest, so I wanted to see what the excitement was all about. I loved staying in the Milton Daniel Residence Hall and taking my honors classes. Here, I participate in meaningful class discussions and get to develop my own ideas about the world around me. Through in-class learning projects and service learning in the community, our academic programs foster an environment of understanding between individuals. There are so many ways to learn what you are passionate about at TCU. You might even make your mark by starting something new. You just have to ask. I hope you'll visit us and experience for yourself all that TCU has to offer, both in academics and beyond the classroom. Well, that's my take on some of the academic aspects of TCU. Now back to you, Alex. Erica, wow, I'm impressed by your drive to not only follow a path, but your ability to chart your own paths right here at TCU. Thank you for sharing your incredible experiences with us. I can't wait to see everything you accomplished at TCU and in the STEM field. Take care. Okay, everyone, we're now heading over to the student newsroom where Colin will tell us his personal story of career preparation gaining on-camera experience through a program that supports students for summer internships. He's a junior majoring in journalism and theater. We can't wait to hear what he's been doing and who he's had an opportunity to work with along the way. Colin, please take it away. Thanks, Alex. Well, hi, everyone. You know, TCU actually wasn't on my radar when I was applying for college. In fact, I remember being a senior and getting a postcard in the mail from the university, and the postcard had an image on it of Frog Fountain on our campus. And I remember looking at that photo and thinking, gosh, this place is too good to be true. It simply can't be this beautiful. And after a quick Google search, I found that it was indeed a real place in Fort Worth, Texas, and they had nationally ranked programs in both of the academic departments that I was interested in. One of the things I love about TCU is that our professors often have industry experience before they teach. This is seen in both of my academic departments. One of my theater professors and mentors, for example, has been in an original Broadway cast and two Broadway revivals. And then in the journalism department, one of my professors is a respected editor and diversity coach for companies across the country. They, of course, bring a wealth of knowledge to the classroom, but they also open up a lot of doors for students in terms of their contacts. I couldn't forget to mention TCU's Internship Scholarship Program, which provides scholarships to students who are pursuing low-paying or non-paying internships during the summer months. I've actually been fortunate enough to receive this scholarship for the past several summers. 
Two summers ago, in fact, I was an intern for a digital media station as their TV host. And then just last summer, I was an intern for a professional summer theater in my home region, learning the inner workings of theater administration and business operations. And it's actually that experience that sparked my interest in pursuing a Master of Fine Arts in Directing after college and ultimately becoming a college theater professor and or theater administrator. Without TCU's support, I don't know that I necessarily would have found my calling to do that as quickly. Of course, TCU prepares its students for their careers through on-campus opportunities too. I've recently written and reported for TCU student media, as well as stage managed and assistant directed the university's musicals, gaining practical experience through it all. It is that practical experience that I know will serve me well in whatever I decide to do after graduation. I couldn't forget to mention TCU's Career Center, which actually assists students in preparing for their careers from their very first semester on campus. The best part is that this is a resource Horn Frogs can use for life. That's a bit about my story, Alex. Back to you. Colin, that was great. I love that you're able to follow your two passions behind the stage and on camera, getting a chance to learn from professors with experience on Broadway. That is absolutely incredible. All right, thanks again for that, Colin. Take care. Now let's head over to the dance studio and meet up with Erin. She's a first year honor student majoring in ballet and modern dance. She's gonna share her story of her exceptional first year at TCU and the university's ongoing work towards inclusive excellence. Erin, please take it away. Hi everyone, I decided to come to TCU because of their amazing dance program. I visited the campus to audition for the school for classical and contemporary dance, and from the moment I stepped foot on campus, it felt like home. I was able to take class with some of the first year dance majors at the time, and everyone was so nice and welcoming, which immediately stood out to me. So far, my experience has been great. Coming from Georgia with no familiar faces, I was nervous to be in a new environment. However, I love how open everyone is to meet new people, and I never feel intimidated to make new friends because everyone is so inclusive and accepting. Whether you are relaxing in the lobby of your residence hall or standing in the line for a meal, there will always be someone willing to talk to you and make your day better, from students to faculty and staff. I have had the privilege of co-starring in the Netflix original movie, Dolly Parton's Christmas on the Square. It was such an honor to be able to dance, act, and see myself on the big screen. I hope to have many opportunities like that in the future, and I know TCU is a place to get me there. As an honors student, I am so pleased with how engaging the classes are. The professors are so nice, and they want to communicate and get to know you on a personal level outside of class, which is great. This year, I had the opportunity to live in Milton Daniel Hall, the residence hall for honors students. The facility is gorgeous, and it is such a comforting environment that encourages making connections with your peers while also placing a strong emphasis on academic excellence. One thing that I love about TCU is their efforts to make everyone feel welcome and included on campus. Bringing students from different countries and backgrounds together to find common ground, have a good time, and learn from one another is where TCU shines. There are events celebrating diverse voices and a diversity, equity, and inclusion course was added to the core curriculum. Students who want to go deeper and broader can even major in areas like comparative race and ethnic studies or women and gender studies. Learning how to listen and discovering that we're more alike than we are different is an intentional effort that TCU builds into their student experience. You can't leave this university without being better at understanding others' perspectives. Lastly, because of TCU's emphasis on student involvement, there's a place for everyone. Overall, my first year at TCU has been great. I couldn't have asked to be a part of a greater community than my Horn Frog family. That's my story, now back to Alex. Aaron, thank you for sharing your story. I love hearing about the welcoming campus culture and everything you've accomplished during your first year on campus. It's truly incredible. Thanks again, Aaron. Okay, so let's meet Emily, a senior studying strategic communication and psychology. Emily is the perfect person to tell you how far she's come, not just to make her first visit to TCU, but to study and travel around the world, become a global citizen. Emily, let's hear your story. Thanks, Alex. And hey, everyone. My time as a horned frog has been nothing short of fun, 
challenging, and an exciting experience. During my college search, I had a mental checklist of what I was looking for out of school, but no university seemed to check off everything on my list. That was until my older sister told me about TCU. It seemed to offer everything I was looking for, so I decided to get over my fear of flying and travel to a campus 800 miles from my home in Georgia. After my visit, I knew this was the place I wanted to spend my next four years, so I made the best decision of my life and decided to call TCU my college home. TCU is truly a hidden gem. It has a small school setting with a big school feel, not to mention it had my ideal major, a Greek system, Horn Frog School Spirit, Club Lacrosse, and most importantly, the opportunity to study abroad. I had the privilege of studying abroad with the Bob Schieffer College of Communications to Scotland and London over the summer. I had the most incredible, immersive experience taking classes relevant to my major while also incorporating a different cultural experience. I took a case studies class and all of our content and assignments were centered around the public affairs and current events of these two countries. This gave me the chance to learn more about the countries that I was visiting while also expanding my knowledge within my major. TCU emphasizes its students being ethical leaders and responsible citizens in the global community, and my time abroad is a perfect reflection of that. Being able to step outside of the US, learn more about a different part of the world, while also relating it back to my future career goals is definitely the highlight of my college experience. My friends and I got to go see the Edinburgh Castle and see the crown jewels, hike to the top of Arthur's seat, see a Shakespearean show at the Globe, visit the University of Cambridge, and just fully immerse ourselves in the cultural experiences of Scotland and London. All of this culminated to the group of study abroad students becoming more than just classmates, but a strong group of friends that I will always value. I am so glad I got over my fear of flying to visit TCU. The schools allow me to grow as a global citizen with unforgettable experiences, both on campus and around the world. I wish I had all day to tell you more about my time abroad, as well as my time as a TCU student, but unfortunately I'm out of time. But thanks for letting me share a little bit of my story with you. Back to you, Alex. Emily, that was fantastic. I'm so glad you got over your fear of flying to make all those amazing memories. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences here in Fort Worth and around the world with all of us. Cheers, Emily. Now let's head over and meet Court. He's a junior majoring in biology and minoring in business. He's an honors student on the pre-med track and is gonna talk to us about the teacher-scholar model at TCU. Court, you're on my man. Howdy everybody. I'm excited to share with y'all my experience as a student at TCU. I grew up just outside of Fort Worth, so I always had time to visit and fall in love with the city. From dancing at Billy Bob's to showing cattle at the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo. What really sold me on coming to TCU though was the size and academics. TCU was the perfect size for me. It has the feel of a large university with competitive sports programs and extremely well-versed professors, but maintains all of the benefits and close relationships of a small school. My favorite part of classes at TCU is that they're taught directly by professors to make students their top priority. Through the teacher-scholar model, professors value building relationships with undergraduate students like me just as much as they do conducting research. Beyond having office hours each week where they're available to chat or answer questions, professors put in extensive effort outside the classroom. Not only does TCU offer ample opportunity to get to know professors, but you can work alongside them. When you walk down the halls of Sid Richardson and Winton Scott, the walls are covered with publications by professors and students alike. If you see publications that interest you, you can talk to that professor about their lab and apply to join, especially as an undergraduate student. TCU also takes a very active role in preparing students for their lives after graduation. As a student on the pre-health track, I took a three-hour course to learn about the application processes to medical, dental, physician's assistant, and veterinary schools. I wrote essays required for the applications and received extensive feedback from multiple professors to ensure that I presented myself in the best light possible. I underwent mock interviews to practice my interview skills and better get to know my health professional advisory committee members who write letters of recommendation. Never have I felt lost or alone in the process of applying to medical school. I've also had so many great experiences at TCU outside the classroom, from director roles in first year experience programs to executive member roles in student government leadership programs and many other on-campus organizations. All of my experiences and classes at TCU have taught me what it means to be a student and a global citizen. If you're looking for a university with a close-knit community of professors and students alike, I highly recommend you give TCU a look. Thanks for letting me share my story with y'all. Back to you, Alex. 
court, great job, that's fantastic. The experiences you have here with your professors and fellow classmates sounds amazing. Thank you again. Cheers, Court. Okay, everyone, it's time to meet Nand, an amazing international and transfer student who's literally traveled the world to get to TCU. He's a sophomore majoring in business information systems and finance with a minor in physics, and he's gonna tell us about TCU's entrepreneurial spirit. Nand, please take it away. Hello everyone, so I was born in India and I lived there for a few years before moving to Zambia in Southern Africa. After finishing high school in Zambia, I really wanted to study abroad and move to America for college. I decided to move to a community college in Southern California, it was called Orange Coast College, and then it was time to transfer. I had a lot of friends who went to TCU, and I started having conversations with them about my possibility of transferring to TCU. After talking to the admissions office and watching a lot of videos about TCU, I immediately fell in love with the campus. I mean, the school spirit on campus was just unimaginable. Everything was purple. Purple boots, purple t-shirts, purple couches, purple flowers. Like, this was something that I had dreamt of as an international student in America to be a part of this great institution. During the admissions process, I learned that there were great counselors at TCU who were helping me throughout the entire financial aid process. After transferring to TCU, my journey in the US took a whole different route. I started as a physics major in college because I thought that I was pretty good at math and physics in high school. But over time, I met so many students at TCU from all different parts of the world studying so many interesting subjects. I immediately realized that being good at something in high school might not necessarily translate into a career. The second closest thing that I would see myself doing is business. I was always amazed by the American corporate world and always dreamt about working in one of those downtown skyscrapers. One day after my calculus class, I went to the business school to see what majors did they offer. I decided to switch my major to business information systems. I've been in the business school for the last one year and I'm loving it. We're learning about real world issues and coming up with solutions of dealing with them. As future global leaders, I feel like it's very important for us to learn about these issues in college. And TCU does a really good job at preparing students for the future, regardless of their majors. With the help of different programs at the Neely School of Business and my accounting professor's referral, I was able to receive an internship at a private equity firm in San Diego. TCU's alumni network is very powerful when it comes to finding job opportunities and just getting general mentorship about your career trajectory. I hope my experience helps you learn a little more about TCU. This campus is a home away from home, whether you're from India or from Fort Worth. Thanks for letting me share my story. What's next, Alex? Nand, I love it. What an amazing journey you've made to get here. Thanks for sharing your experience finding a new home right here on campus. We appreciate it, Nand. Okay, everyone, now we're counting on student body president Paige to fill us in on leadership cultivation at TCU. She's a senior majoring in finance and she's become the leader she is today through a campus network and culture that encourages lifelong learning and dynamic growth. Paige, you are on. Thanks, Alex. As soon as I stepped foot on TCU's campus, I knew this place was like no other. Our community is incredibly engaged, and all of our students are involved and self-motivated. In addition to classes, the average student is a member of at least a couple student organizations. Whether they be Greek, academic, cultural, or volunteer in nature, there's a place for everybody. TCU aims to cultivate not only well-rounded students, but also world changers, and there are countless opportunities for leadership on campus. For instance, as a first-year student, I knew next to nobody. I was able to make friends that would go on to be leaders all across campus at my frog camp in Berlin, Germany, which was also my first time ever in Europe. These relationships have been invaluable to me, and every opportunity that I've had at TCU has only opened up more chances for me to make friends and to challenge myself. I have served in a variety of leadership positions, both on campus and within our community. And after four fantastic years, I've had the opportunity to serve as the student body president. I am so grateful for the opportunities that TCU has given me to develop into a more ethical, compassionate, and driven leader. As a student, you can make a real difference on campus. One of the initiatives that I'm proudest of is the community commons. 
The pandemic hit universities hard, and first-year students especially had a difficult time making friendships and building community in a safe way. And so the outdoor living room was born. I've also had the opportunity to work with the Race and Reconciliation Initiative to develop the Unity Court. All graduating students have had the opportunity to wear a Unity Court, which is the physical embodiment of the strength, resiliency, and TCU spirit that we have all channeled to get through this year. I've learned the value of hard work and a perseverance, how to cope with failure, and also how to sell my ideas to others. This is such an exciting time in TCU's history. We're reconciling our past and stepping into an even brighter future. Coming to TCU will provide you the opportunity to become the very best version of yourself, all while making lifelong friends. Though my time as a student has come to an end, I am so excited to see what future generations of Horned Frogs are able to do with their time here. Back to you, Alex. Paige, that was fantastic, awesome job. Thank you for sharing with us your experience as a student leader. Congrats on all your accomplishments and good luck in your career. Thanks again, Paige. Okay, everyone, how amazing is TCU? I wanna thank all the incredible students for generously giving their time today so all of you can learn more about what this university is all about. What a vibrant university set in a truly supportive community. This was so much fun. So unfortunately, that's it from me. Now it's up to you all to go learn more about what TCU is for yourself. And hopefully, we'll welcome you all on campus real soon. That was a great episode. <laughs>